All right, on open season, we have Steering Light up as the uh, Wolf R on player one. And Bodius on player two side playing Tenry. Are people really liking the Tenry and Wolf R? Yeah. I guess it's because uh, if you get a good play, uh, you just win the game, which is pretty good. Yeah, I uh, mean, they're both showing that they're capable of, like, game-winning turns, so... I guess, the way I'd say, like, Searing Blight seems to be more about going for that kind of, like, game-winning play, and Spotless is more about going for the, uh, the longer play over the course of the game, but... We're not going for that, like, one play, they're just going for, like, kind of... a whole bunch of plays that win them the game, I should say. All right. Mm, I think Spartius is gonna come out ahead on this capture phase, though. He might get like two D caps actually, for at a relatively low cost, which is really good as Tenry on this map. Because uh, unlike other maps where sometimes if you get Tenry Groove too early, you don't have uh, the army. To go with it on this map you will always get a certain value because you can grab the rifle and that's a lot of value <laughs> and searing just hasn't taken this top right village like kind of refuses to at this point and we're seeing spotius build up quite a lot of groove yep so we might see, already. yeah, we might even see like Tenry Groove come out before Wolfar Groove because Body is just playing very good keep away. Ooh, but Searing has a dragon and he's going to use that to great effect. Ton of damage, kills a sword for uh, no cost. And yeah, now we've Actually, got the actually, there's a lot of plays with Wolfar that don't really get used that much, but I think Wolfar pairs up pretty well with the dragon because uh, you can send the dragon in and then you can groove it away from the enemy anti-air for like not that much damage which is I mean sometimes it's not worth going for that but there's a lot of plays like that from Wolfhard that we don't really see Ooh, and this dragon like Searing realizes that, hey, there's no anti air over on the right-hand side of the map. This this knight's trapped. It will die. Hmm. Well, there could be a mage that just spawns there, I guess. You could also... Ooh. Just kill the rifle. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of damage from... Oh, actually, no. Look at how much Groove Tenry has. I think this is a bait. Oh, are you thinking like some kind of lethal setup? Uh, I think Spadius was a uh, kind of baiting uh, Searing Blights to go in with Wolfar and to try to get a lethal with Tenry Groove from across the map. Wolfar's in a nice but, safe position right now. Yeah. They didn't fall for it, I guess. So, oh, yeah, I mean, like, the one really scary thing that Tenry can do is you can just kill the rifle. A lot of good options for that. Ooh, we're seeing big Night Crit comes down. Tee off? Is that going to be cross map? Does a ton of damage. Oh! <gasps> Searing Blight gets the kill! Nice. <laughs> oh wow, that was such a good play. And Spotius, I mean, yeah, that was an injured Tenry just kind of sitting there. And uh, when you have four sides... Uh, here's the thing, you gotta keep sides protected against uh, Wolfar because you need to deny those groove spots. Even if like you don't think an, an opponent's unit can reach you from one side. 
Like, you know, Wolfar can just send one flying. Yep. They're definitely... Range was the key word in these last two turns, I think. <laughs> oh, what a play. And Searing Blight beats Spotius. Yeah, he, he has way more uh, awareness of grooves, I think. Searing Blight. Because uh, you, you see that last turn, he didn't get... Well, either it was a bait from Spotius or it wasn't, but he recognized the threat and kind of backed off, played it safe. And then the next turn also recognizes that he has a lot lethal opportunity from across the map. Oh, someone in the chat making a point of, uh, I actually don't know if it was that order, but the dog being grooved first and then, I can't remember, but that set up a dog crit because of that. I think the last hit before Tenry died, she was on 1%, so... <laughs> Right. I think Searing Blade had quite enough damage, regardless. Yeah, but even so, that's like such a cool, like a little addition. Oh, I love it. Wolf is such a cool commander. Dog was grouped first. Okay, so the second dog was a dog crit. Oh, that's so cool. Like genuinely, that was such a cool play. Like Searing, like that was that was ten out of ten. Right there. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Searing Blight goes through first seed. Yep. And, in uh, uh, in AWST.